the minute. It was a magnificent atmosphere in here last night when the host nation Guatemala beat Kazakhstan by six goals to five. A goal, a winning goal scored just 22 seconds from the end of the game. And plenty of attention in Group B tonight with the group leaders Uruguay facing Holland in the second game. First though we've got Thailand against Egypt. There are officials for this fixture. Thailand, new to a futsal world final, uh, here as the third of Asia's three representatives. They lost their opening game 4-1 to Uruguay. They're also without their leading player, Tutsa, who is unavailable for the championships. Egypt were a joy to watch even though they lost their opening fixture to the Netherlands, 5-3. Breathtaking pace, breathtaking skill. He starts on the bench here, but look out for number five, Mahmoud Mohamed. Goalkeeper Yasser Mohamed is suspended, having been sent off against the Dutch. Exchange of mementos. The Egyptian captain there is... Tamer Ismail, one of two survivors from the squad from 1996. The 
emotional moment for the players from Egypt. And there's the Brazilian coach of Thailand, Silvio Pinero, just issuing some last minute instructions. He had an interpreter with him on the touchline when Thailand played their opening game against Uruguay. Egypt and Thailand know a little bit about each other. They met in a couple of friendlies back in August. Egypt winning both games, the first one 8-2, the second one 7-2. Yeah, yeah, Daiba of Senegal, the senior official. He's assisted out in the middle by Sergio Comancho from Brazil. So we're all set to get underway. The first fixture this evening in Group B here in El Domo. It's Thailand against Egypt. Here's Ismail. Ismail, who was in the squad in 96 and who scored four goals. Don't forget that in futsal, the ball is kicked in as opposed to being thrown in. No restriction on where players can go. They can go into the goalkeeper's D, into the goal area. The goalkeeper can throw the ball out. The emphasis very much on skill and on pace. Thailand were well organized against Uruguay. They didn't have any real penetration up front though. But for that matter, neither did Egypt against the Dutch. Egypt with plenty of flair, plenty of players prepared to run with the ball. As was Yusuf Mohammed there. But they had so many chances, they wasted so many too. And they ultimately paid the price, going down by five goals to three. Ismail. Arif Said. Ismail once more. Patient approach here by Egypt. A lot of good movement just ahead the, of the skipper there. Abdullah is the player furthest forward. And it needed a hand to divert that to safety there. Namcharo in just getting the ball to safety. change of direction there by Ismail and Egypt have a second corner now significant in futsal that teams don't necessarily put a lot of bodies inside the D they prefer to have players in the more withdrawn role to try and create extra problems when they come in from a long way out Good recovery by Araf Saeed. Saeed on target in the opening game against the Netherlands. Surging run forward there by Tema Ismail. And a nasty, nasty challenge. Munjaran it was who clipped the ankles there of the Egyptian skipper. Nasty fall because Tema Ismail was at full tilt, and this is a very unforgiving surface. Wooden surface, there's a light covering of rubber on top, but no lasting damage. Ismail currently on the ball. Said. Ismail again. Mesmerizing skills there by Ismail. Didn't get hold of the shot, though. Never really got over the ball. But here come Thailand. And it's Ismail back to get an important foot in for Egypt. In futsal, we have rolling substitutions. Changes can be made at any time. Manjaran on the ball. Jaren who caught the eye when Thailand played their opening fixture. 
Manjaran only 21, one of three students in the Thai team. A lot is expected from him in the future. Thailand newcomers to the closing stages of a World Futsal Championship. The only newcomers in Group B. Thailand beat Japan 8-6 in the third and fourth place Asian qualifying rounds. They lost 8-2 to Iran in the semi-final. That was a test for Nassif, the Egyptian goalkeeper. Goalkeeper stung into action. Shot was from a long way up. It had a clear side of goal. Comfortable height for the goalkeeper, though. Warning signs, though, for Egypt, who looked so good going forward against the Dutch, but looked vulnerable in defence. They pressed so many bodies forward, they were open to the counter-attack and the Dutch were able to punish them. Here's Mahmoud Mohamed, who we picked up before the start. Now Atia was too clever. Chance for Thailand to break now with Munjaran. Shot was deflected and headed to safety by Pikam. A great opening here for the player running through who was Mahmoud. Change of approach there by Egypt. Clever back heel by Abdel Kadir. And it was Mahmoud Mohamed who was charging in. Foul there by Mahmoud Mohamed who we've just seen popping up in the Thai penalty D. Plaza decides to leave the free kick here to Pikam. Another terrific stop. Manjaran with the shot. Nasef with the save. And immediately Egypt are able to get forward on the counter attack. And denied at the last was Mahmoud Mohamed. Well, from one end of the pitch to the other. An indication there of just how fast and furious futsal is. Ball launched upfield. Mahmoud Mohamed, who we saw him pressing in the game against the Netherlands, so close there to getting the opening goal for Egypt. It's been a lively opening. Pika. Angle pass was intended for Sumran Fun. There's the skipper, Palaska. Egypt with the bulk of the possession. Atia. Mahmoud Mohamed. Now Abdel Qadir. Mahmoud Mohamed, chance for a shot. And the first goal for Egypt. Said Abdel Qadir, who's got the goal. Mahmoud Mohamed, who just wriggled clear and was able to work the ball through there to Zaid Abdel Qadir. Took a deflection on the way in, off the goalkeeper, Namcharan. But it's Egypt who are in front. Goals guaranteed in futsal. So far in these championships, we've had 88, now 89 goals. Just 12 games played before today. That's an average of. 7.33 goals again and it's Thailand looking for goals here they've won another free kick Abdel Qadir 
His first goal in these Futsal 2000 championships. Thailand have the free kick. Pikam is the player shaping to maybe shoot. Cleverly worked. Abdul Qadir, the goal scorer, getting across to make an important clearance. Thailand have yet another corner. Haven't got anyone inside the Egyptian D. Weren't able to create an opening. That was a poor corner by the skipper. Blaska. Mahmoud Mohamed. Only 22. He's got some mesmerizing skills. Munjaran. Clever play by Munjaran. Really caught the eye when Thailand were in action against Uruguay. It was force wide though. So important the defenders don't commit themselves to the tackle unless they're absolutely sure of getting the ball. If they do and they're grounded and they're beaten, it gives the opportunity to the opposition. Dogged defence by Pika. Tia just had his ankles clipped there, but it was unintentional. Atia now. Abdul Qadir, the goal scorer, this time trying to create the opening. Mahmoud Mohamed. Now Atiyah. Good work by Atiyah. And it's Munjaran who's been able to get back to get the ball to safety. Thailand now with a chance to regroup in defence. And more good work by Abdul Qadir. Terrific close controls. Mahmoud Mohamed. Atiyah. Another good run by Mohamed, and the goalkeeper's committed. Abdel Qadir able to take the move on now for Egypt. But some of the passing has been rather wayward. Nervous start, really, by both sides. Egypt here have plenty of support. The Eldomo Stadium gradually filling. Number of orange shirts already in the crowd in anticipation of the following game, which is the Netherlands against Uruguay. rather to Egypt Atia who's adopting a withdrawn role here Atia just trying to take charge of things in the centre of the pitch plenty of flexibility in this Egyptian side Mahoud Mohamed and this time he's unable to deliver the cross as Abdel Qadir came chasing in Ball has been launched forward, but the throw out by Namsharan just too high for the incoming attacker. Arif Sai. Mahmoud Mohamed. 
Mohammed again showing off his skills. Seems capable of taking defenders on either outside or when he comes inside. Pudi. On to Kong Q. But here come Egypt again. Glorious opportunity for Egypt. But a tear denied by Nom Charen. Nom Charen, the Thai goalkeeper, 38 years of age now, the most experienced player in their squad. And he excelled there to get that shot from a tear away to safety. Mohamed, another fine save by Nom Charen. It promises to be a busy night for Nom Charoen in the tie goal. Cleverly worked move by Egypt, and that was a good stop. Pudi on the ball. Egypt with 11 attempts on goal at the moment. Eight of them on target. Better movement here from Thailand. Hung Pu, the player who was furthest forward for them there. Three students in this Thai side. There's no five-a-side league at the moment in Thailand, but the Thai FA are keen to promote futsal. They've appointed the Brazilian Silvio Pinero as their coach, and they've asked several of the leading outfield players to come to these championships. But it's a relatively young side, despite the fact that their goalkeeper there, Nom Charan, is 38. Janta is 21. Munjaran is 21. Pumping effort by Abdul Qadir. He scored once. He might have got a second one there with a shot which bounced to safety off the inside of the post. Seemed to toe punt the shot. But it was curling away from Nom Charen. Beyond the halfway point now in the first half. Pudi. He was fouled by Mahmoud Mohamed. Three fouls now against Egypt in futsal. When a team commits six, they concede a penalty from a 10 meter mark outside the D. The more frantic the game, the more chance. There is for one of those penalty kicks. And a great opening for Thailand. Kai Gyu with a great chance to get the equalizing goal. Nassif down quickly to make the save. But a better period of play for Thailand. Here come Egypt again. Solomon dispossessed. Munjaran. Mahmoud Mohamed. Atia. Now Solomon. He needed to get onto his left foot, but he still created enough room to get in a shot at goal. Solomon has already scored once in these championships. He was on the mark against the Netherlands. This was the earlier opening for Thailand. Tried to place his shot, but Yasef down smartly. Goalkeepers in futsal have to be agile, have to be in a position to readjust and to get down to make the blocks. Great skill from Mamu Mohamed. And the ball just slid under the sole of his shoe.
Houdin. Munjaran. Tia able to get a foot in. Kangel. Now Pudi, but not a great deal on for Thailand here. Egypt have learned their lessons. They've learned from the 5-3 defeat they suffered against the Netherlands, a game in which they dominated from the start territorially, but they went in at half-time, four goals in arrears. That was because they were too adventurous, and they paid the price for getting too many players forwards. Ismail. Arif Saeed. Ismail once more. Poudi across to hustle and to hurry. And they've forced an error now out of Egypt. And there's a chance here to get the equaliser. Oh, Poudi. Well, he was so determined. He was so tenacious. The pass was misplaced. And that gave Kongu the opportunity to break forward. Poudi there in support. And he just tried to stroke the ball in at the near post. Wasn't an easy angle for him at pace. But it was a good opportunity nonetheless. The first time out of the first half. Each side, of course, allowed a one-minute timeout. Pinero, the coach there in the middle. See to his right, the Thai interpreter. Plenty of good support for both sides here. Buzzer indicates the end of the timeout. Egypt have the throw in from their goalkeeper. First, we have some mopping up operations. It was noticeable last night, particularly, that there was a lot of water on the surface, and the referees won't allow the game to continue until they're absolutely sure that the mopping up has been completed properly. Ismail. First of pace from Ismail, which didn't deceive Munjaran. Munjaran has made a good impression in the opening two games that he's played in these Futsal 2000 championships. Solomon. Ismail. Saeed. Another chance for Ismail to take on Pikam Ismail very strong and powerful clever little back heel there to release Solomon and here's Solomon again Pikam getting a foot in Solomon at 21 is the youngest member of the Egyptian squad. Great change of pace there by Saeed. Ball is launched upfield by Thailand. Happy just to readjust in defence and to take some of the pressure off their back line. Saeed. the ball into touch but he also slid in not allowed to slide in like that and Egypt have the free kick is Ismail clever turn again by Saeed trying to coax and tempt the defender into making the challenge three fouls committed now by 
either side. When they get to six, they concede a penalty from the 10-meter mark. Tenacious work by Boody. And Jaren didn't quite get hold of that shot. And there's a chance here for Egypt. Quick break forward. Ismail surely must score now. Well, how did he miss that? Soliman looks down at the ground in disgust. He was teed up perfectly there by Ismail. Incisive break by Egypt. Said. No foul, apparently. Well, is it? Rather strange decision because Solomon was bundled to the ground there by Peekham. Domo is the principal venue for these championships in the year 2000, the fourth FIFA Futsal World Championships, purpose-built facility which early next year will host Miss World. Before it was rebuilt, it was uh, an outdoor ball ring. Munjaran. Shot from Polska was charged down. And there's plenty of support for the Egyptians, but as yet their team has not raised the standards in the way in which they did against the Netherlands in their opening fixture. A blistering first half against the Dutch. This is better now from Egypt. Atia. Abdu there to give him a bit of help. Saeed. Now the skipper, Ismail. Great work by Ismail. A chance. Oh, a fantastic save. Not once, but twice. Wonderful improvision by Abdu with the cleverest of back heels. But what a fantastic recovery save by Nam Shadowin. And more work here for the goalkeeper to do as he blocks that shot from Ismail. Futsal at its very best. Wonderful break there by Ismail. And look at that. Goalkeeper stretching out. Did well to get a foot to the ball initially and then to make the second block. And there's a chance in now for Thailand. It's Saeed who gets across to make the block and deny Polska, the skipper. Thailand stung into life by that near miss. And there, it's now their turn to miss. Not once, not twice, but three times this time. Polska denied. And then... Kai Go denied. How on earth did that stay out? The second effort which came back off the crossbar, and that was another very good save. The goalkeeping in these championships already has been of the highest quality, even though the average is seven goals a game. And there's a chance here now for another one. Brilliantly done. Oh, what a fantastic goal that was by Abdel Qadir. Abdel Qadir's second goal of the night. His third in these championships. Scintillating break forward by Egypt. And a clever, clever finish. Committed Namcharan, the goalkeeper, to diving out. And nobody can afford to do that. It just opened the goal up there for Abdel Qadir.
who kept a cool head and who's now given Egypt a two-goal advantage. Said. A chance for Thailand to break now with Pikam. Another good save. It's tight to the near post. Nassib had it covered. But what a night it's been for Said Abdel Qadir. Two goals already. Abdu. Brave goalkeeping. Abdel Qadir. Three goals now for him in these championships. Mujaran. Good work by Mujaran. Clever interception by Abdu. Mujaran needs some help. It's arriving now. Oh, and was he out of the. Yes, he was out of the D. Handball outside the D. Even though Nassif complains bitterly, timeout is called. A well, timeout has been called. There's to be no caution for the goalkeeper, Nassif. And he was outside the box. And there's a Thai player in need of attention inside the goalkeeper's D. Hughes, the player down. Well, futsal is fast and frantic, and Egypt don't want to lose their second goalkeeper because Yasser Mohamed was sent off just two minutes from the end of the game against the Netherlands on Sunday evening. This is the second goal. What great footwork here. Wonderful skills by Abdel Qadir. But defending here for Egypt to do. It's the end of the second time out of the first half. Never easy to defend against a free kick so close to the goalkeeper's D. suspect that Nassif, the goalkeeper, will want to launch himself forward to try and make a block. Kong Gyu is the player currently on the edge of the defensive wall here for Thailand. Polska, the Thai skipper, ready to, to have a look to see what he can maybe create. And that was a good save again by Nassif. The goalkeeper knew what he had to do, and he did it well. Yusuf Mohamed. Now Saeed. Abdul Qadir, who's scored those two goals. Well, foul there by Abdul Qadir, who was cautioned in the game against the Dutch. Fifth foul now has been committed by... Egypt, they're on dangerous ground, another one and they will concede a free kick, a penalty kick in effect from the 10 metre mark just outside the Egyptian D. Abdu. Crossing had just the wrong angle on it for Abdel Qadir who's proved very versatile for Egypt. Players in futsal need to be comfortable on the ball. They need to want to run with the ball. They also have to have some idea about how to defend. Abdu. Yusuf Mohamed. Manjaran emerges with the ball. Chance for a break for Thailand, but they've given the ball away far too easily. Mohamed. 
Pekum able to make the block and to bring the ball forward here for Thailand. Munjaran. Another good block by Yusuf Mohamed, that time from Polska, the skipper. Into the final minute now of the first half and a bit of shirt pulling going on in there. Both sides now have committed five fouls. Just 23 seconds of the first half remaining. Clock is stopped once the ball is out of play or there has been an infringement. Egypt now have four seconds to get the game moving once more. Abdu. Saeed Abdul Qadir. Can he get a first half hat trick? Not quite. Munjaran. Yusuf Mohammed to bring the ball away for Egypt. Although he Puta blows. The end of an absorbing first half. Two goals there for Saeed Abdel Qadir. Two cleverly taken goals. And two goals which give Egypt a comfortable advantage at the break. It's Thailand nil, Egypt two. Let's have a look at the first half match facts. Thailand actually had more attempts. Very even first half with both sides having 15 on target. Eight corners to Thailand, six to Egypt. Five fouls each in that first half. Egypt with the bulk of the possession. And of course, more importantly, at the advantage.体制の考え方、フットサルの特徴を生かすスピーディーさを強調しよう。それからフェアプレーを確保しよう。これについてはですね、やはり3つぐらいなポイントがあるのかと思います。で、その1つはまずハーフウェイラインを超えてゴールキ
ゴールラインから10メートルのところになりました。まあ、10メートルというとやはり、えー、そこから壁がなくてゴールキーパーと一対一であればあ非常に得点のチャンスが生まれると思います。これは得点のチャンスを増やすということでもあるんですけれども、やはり反則をより少なくしようと。まあ、フットサルというのはサッカーの,そのエッセンスをのようなゲームです、えー、反則をなるべく少なくしてフェアプレーに徹して、えー、行ってくださいと,というようなところなのかと思います。日本フサル連盟はですね、えー、本年今まで二十数年の歴史の中で初めて開催再編という形を取ってもらい取らせていただきまして、えー、全国の地域に、えー、の代表の理事を入れていただいてそれで各地域にまで、えー、全国展開ができるようにという組織を開演しましたその中で日本サル連盟がこれからやらなきゃいけないこととかということが自然と出てきたわけですけどその中でやっぱり一番大事なことはリーグ戦を各地域でやっていただこうということに、えー決めましてですね各地域にできるだけ早い時期にリーグ戦を展開していただいてそれでそのートータルの中でその上にはあ日本を代表するリーグが将来的にできればというのが目標にですね、えー、競技性の一つはそれがありますそれからもう一つは、えー、普及ということではあのサッカーのファミリーがたくさん増えるように、えー、我々の中で、えー、いつでもどこでも誰でもという,う理念のもとにですね多くの方がサッカーを愛しそれでフツサルの愛好者になっていただいてですねサッカーファミリーを拡大していくというのが、まあ、一つの狙いであります。Welcome back to Al Damo from Me Tony Jones. We're all set for the second half of this Group B game between Thailand and Egypt. Egypt leading at half time by two goals to nil. Both goals scored by Said Abdel Kadir. Thailand in the red strip who get us underway, attacking now from right to left. There's Abdel Kadir, score of those two first half goals for Egypt. Araf Said. Egypt beat Thailand 8 2 and 7 2 in two friendly fixtures back in August, so these two sides know a bit about each other. Egypt got to the finals back in 1996. Only two survivors from that team currently in their squad, and one of those is suspended their second choice goalkeeper, Yasser Mohammed, who Was sent off against the Netherlands. And there's a chance here for Abdel Kadir. Chance for the hat trick. And he stood on the ball. Taken wide there by Noncharo and the goalkeeper. But once more, attack turning to defence, or rather, defence turning to attack very, very quickly. Surge of pace which took Abdel Kadir forward. Another clever little change of balance to try and get beyond the goalkeeper. He's had two very good opportunities to add to the two goals which he scored in the first half. And that's a terrific through pass which is presented this time Kanawi with the chance to test Nomo Sharin in the tie goal. Another good save. Difficult angle that for Munjaran. Here comes Abdel Kadir. Maybe this time. And it's been bundled to safety off the goal line. Well, Thailand living very, very dangerously there. 
Bikem it was who got the ball to safety. Kanawi, who's just come on as a, a second half substitute for Egypt, who had the shot at goal in the end after good work by Abdel Qadir. Abdel Qadir has really caught the eye in this game. There he was able to tee the ball up. But the shot directed straight to the defender on the goal line. Thailand at these championships perhaps without their best known player, Tutsa, the midfielder who has played in the World Cup qualifiers for Thailand in the Asian zone. Defeat by Iraq though means that Thailand won't make any further progress on the road to Japan 2002. Oh, he's caught the post this time. Electrifying turn of foot there by Abdel Qadir, set clear by Mahmoud Mohamed. Egypt here just beginning to raise the tempo at the start of the second half in much the same way they did right from the start against the Netherlands in their first fixture. Pulsa. Difficult angle, but he hit it with so much power, forced a save out of Nasef. Encouragement there for Thailand. Instinctive drive, didn't really have a sight of the goal. But it caught the shot well enough and it forced Nassif to make the save. Said Abdel Qadir. Fantastic skills again from the man who's got the two goals for Egypt. Mahmoud Mohamed. Kanawi. Mahmoud Mohamed, Abdul Qadir. This time he can't deceive Paul Sack. Magnificent running again by Abdul Qadir. There's a good block in the end by Nomsharan. Mahmoud Mohamed. Saeed. Was a hefty challenge by Beacom. It's the goal scorer Abdel Qadir who's gone down, and it's Beacom who committed the foul, who's the first to acknowledge the fact that it was a rash one. Thailand have committed the first foul of the second half. Don't forget that the first side to commit six fouls will concede a penalty from the 10 metre mark just outside the defensive D. Mahoud Mohamed now. And upside. Abdul Qadir. Another chance for Abdul Qadir. And this time he's dragged his shot wide he's also claiming as well that he was having his shirt pulled and he may well have a point he come on the blind side of both officials don't forget two referees in futsal and the goalkeeper Namashen didn't know too much about that Kanawi making a good impression having come on as a half-time substitute for Egypt Said, and it is a goal this time it's a hat-trick for Abdel Qadir is it it's Kanawi who's got it. Kanawi has got the goal. Well, Kanawi, we said earlier, has made an instant impression here at the start of the second half. It was a good finish, good work initially by Araf Saeed. Egypt now leading by three goals to nil. The losers here tonight will definitely be out of the championships. 
There's the goal scorer. Said Yusuf Mohammed. Egypt might not feel that they can take their foot off the accelerator a little bit. Three goal advantage is a, a good advantage to have after just 25 minutes of play. But we saw last night when Guatemala surrendered a three goal lead against Kazakhstan that you can't predict too much in futsal. Good finish that by Kanawi. It's Kanawi on the ball at the moment. Said. Abdel Hamid. Abdullah. Kanawi. Jaran just able to get the foot in. Egypt in effect with their four second choice outfield players out there at the moment. Atia. Now side. Deflected out for a corner kick to Egypt. corners apiece it's been fairly even although Egypt have made more of their chances three goals to the good now Munjaran Thailand start to rebuild again with Kong Kyu. Sun Ran Fun. Pudin. Kong Kyu over the ball. Here he is again. Still with Kong Kyu. Kong Kyu's cross. And a fumble there by Nassif. Did well to recover. An intelligent play as well to set Abdel Hamid free. But there's a chance here for Thailand to catch Egypt out on the counter attack. And the goalkeeper didn't know too much about that. Got his head in the way of the shot from Kong Kyu. Goalkeeper rocking on his heels and now down. Munjarin who led the counter-attack. Munjarin is one of the players who's really impressed so far in these championships. And Ayman Nassif really felt that blow to the side of the face. Spread himself well in front of the incoming attacker. Thailand have the corner. Now Kong Q who had that chance just moments ago. Munjaran. Munjaran able to win some extra ground on the far touch line. Morsi. Kanawi, score of the third goal for Egypt. Two in the first half, first side, Abdel Qadir. Houdi. Munjaran. Houdi again. Thailand doing their best to create another opening.
Saeed. Egypt eager to make three substitutions. They want to start to ring the changes once more. Kanawi. Intended pass was well smothered there by Nam Sharon. Pudi. But Thailand guilty of giving the ball away. And it's Abdullah who's been able to get clear. Egypt lightning quick on the counter attack. Abdu. Thailand backing off, happy to give Egypt possession in areas of the pitch where they don't think they'll do much harm, but maybe Thailand can do a bit of harm here. Munjaran leading the counter-attack. Kong Kyu. Nasi fouled to collect. A great opening here for Wael Abdullah. Well saved, though, by Nam Sharan. Thank you. Abdu. Now Ismail. It's a hefty challenge, and that will be a yellow card for Boudi. He's tested the referee's patience once too often. Been guilty of committing a couple of rash challenges already. Do over the free kick. Here's Ismail. Atia. Ismail. And a glorious opening for Abdu. If he can find the target. Important save that by Nam Sharon. Had to get his hand to the ball and had to hold the ball. Green shirts threatening inside the D. ready to make another change that was the save by Nam Sharon as Abdullah threatened Ismail Egypt playing the game at walking pace but they have the ability to inject pace into the game very very quickly Abdu this time they've bypassed a tier to pick out Ismail cleverly done by Ismail here's Solomon and another fine save by Nam Sharon. Beyond the halfway point now in the second half. Thailand have the free kick here. inside the goal D and it was Janta who shot wide <laughs> 70 teams in qualifying for these championships compared to 46 back in 1996 terrific crossfield pass there by the skipper Ismail Abdu just stabbing at the ball and stabbed it wide Ismail. Solomon has made the move ahead of him. Ismail has surrendered possession though. There are three forward here for Thailand and still they can't apply the finish. Thailand couldn't make the most of their opportunities against Uruguay. A game which they lost 4-1. Pecum the score of their only goal in these championships so far. And it's been much the same story here. They've had their chances. They haven't been able to take any of them so far. Now, Pudi has got to be very careful here. He's been cautioned already. It's getting a bit tense and a bit frustrating. To 
often it seems in the second half Thailand are chasing after shadows and that was a rush challenge by Pudi suggesting maybe that Solomon was guilty of the dive Thailand have now committed five fouls in the second half one more and they concede the penalty on the 10 meter mark Ismail now Abdu shaped to Schuper in the end he decided to Roll the ball wide to Aitia. Idea was right, but the execution less so. Yanta. Fung Fu ahead of him, still with Yanta. Yanta, one of the three 21 year olds in this. Thai squad. Ismail's shot is blocked by Fung Fu. And Sharon taking charge of operations inside the D. And that was a whisker away there. Solomon, who was able to find the right range, couldn't find the accuracy. Yanta. Gao just unable to work the ball through to his, his teammates at front Kong Q. That was the earlier chance for Solomon. Pace has increased. And the second official on the near side, Sergio Comancho from Brazil, had a whistle poised to his lips then. Decided that it wasn't worthy of a free kick. Egypt do now, though, have the corner. Remember, Thailand have committed five fouls in the second half. Another one, and they'll concede a penalty kick from the 10-metre mark. Tia didn't get hold of the shot at all. Rushed at it, snatched at it. Yanta. Came off Sabri Abdu. Yanta to kick the ball into play once more for Thailand. He's doing well with his back to goal there. And Yanta with a shot eventually, which was well gathered by Nassim. Kai Gao making a nuisance of himself initially, just ahead of the goalkeeper. Mahmoud Mohamed. Now Abdu. Mahmoud Mohamed with another opportunity to test this tie defence. Lots of good movement ahead of him by Solomon. Solomon 21, Mahmoud Mohamed 22. Egypt, one of the emerging forces in futsal in Africa. Determined play by Abdu, did well to get back then to get the ball to safety. And that was a fine save by Nam Sharon. This time, Thailand have the free kick. It was a good save by Nam Sharon. Had to make sure the ball was his. Yanta. Good block by Solomon. Solomon has done well for Egypt in the second half. Been very industrious. Kai Gyo loses possession. His first touch wasn't a particularly good one, and there's a chance here now for Egypt. Well, that was agonizingly close for Solomon. Now, dear Solomon. Mahoud Mohammed, who was bearing down on goal. It was a pass rather than a shot. He did try to. Turn it aside there towards his teammate Solomon. Peacom has lost the ball and he's also committed the foul here.
that is the sixth foul. It'll be a penalty here to Egypt from that 10 metre mark. Nadir Solomon is stepping forward to take it. Consultation going on with Sabri Abdu. Solomon and he's blasted his shot wide struck it well enough but it was a long long way wide Egypt should have made more of the opportunity struck it well enough and from Sharon the goalkeeper did have it covered goalkeeper got down very very quickly but he didn't have to make the save but at the other end Nassif has to make one save and then Trying to scramble quickly to his feet as Polska blasted the ball beyond him for a second time. Another wasted opportunity for Thailand. Good work by Kai Gu. And the ball very nearly slipped from Nassif's crisp. And he's back off the post this time. Abdel Kadir still searching for his third goal. And plenty of clicker openings in this second half. Goalkeeper Marov just got a knee to the ball. Mahoud Mohamed. Abdu. Good work by Abdu. Chance in now for Saeed. And Sharon has had a good game. Saeed. Now Abdu. Not the same fluency from Egypt tonight, which they showed against the Dutch, particularly in the first half against the Dutch. The coach still wonders how Egypt managed to lose that game by five goals to three. And that will be another penalty, another penalty from the 10-metre mark. Who will take this one for Egypt? Well, it's going to be Araf Saeed. So a chance now for Araf Saeed, who scored against the Netherlands to get the chance to get another one against Thailand. But he's denied by Nam Sharon. Two penalty misses now for Egypt. Abdul Qadir. Kanawi just ahead of him. The first penalty from Nadir Solomon was blasted wide. The second one found the target, but it was well saved. That's a great goal by Mahmoud Mohamed. Had a clear side of goal and was able to punish Thailand for some unconvincing defensing, mesmerizing skills again by Mahmoud Mohamed. Just invited the challenge. Great balance by Mahmoud Mohamed. It's looking comfortable now for Egypt. Four goals they've got. They're going in search of a fifth. Another opening for Egypt. Surely they're almost trying to walk the ball into the net. And they've succeeded. It's out of first side. He's been denied from the penalty spot. But he wasn't denied there. It's five now for Egypt. Timeout has been called. Well, they made it difficult for themselves again, Egypt. Two there inside the tie D. And that was a great effort by Araf Saeed. Araf Saeed has made it 4-0 here to 5-0 rather now to 
Egypt. And a well deserved breather. Egypt leading by five goals to nil. Three minutes at the end of this game in Group B now. Still Egypt going search of goals. Arafa Said, the scorer of the fifth goal there for Egypt. And that will be another penalty for Egypt. Thailand paying the price for yet more indiscipline can't afford to commit fouls in futsal it's designed to be a fast and furious game and having missed once Nadir Solomon has the chance to hit the target from the penalty spot this time and he's managed it another terrific left foot shot it's six now for Egypt Nadir Solomon, the goal scorer. Great penalty, struck it so well. Goalkeeper was off balance and already falling. Six now to Egypt. There's an average of over seven goals in every game in these FIFA Futsal World Championships. Mahoud Mohamed. Surely, and that's the hat trick for Said Abdul Qadir. They've walked the ball into the net yet again. Wonderful exchange there between Mahmoud Mohammed and selfish play, too. The smile from Abdul Qadir is a broad one. One, one, two, then a second, and he couldn't miss from there. Seven nil now to Egypt. Egypt only too aware that goal difference could come into play in Group B. Thailand are new to a world futsal final. Not Egypt, not Holland or Uruguay. Three goals for Abdel Qadir. He's had plenty of other opportunities. Might have scored three before half time. He missed two very good chances. Ihab Said. Yusuf Mohammed. And this time the free kick goes Thailand's way. Said Abdel Qadir just trying to hold the defender. Trying to hold him off. Now Egypt have committed their fifth foul. Another one and they will concede a penalty. He come now encouraged to get further forward for Thailand. It has to be a damage limitation exercise really for them. Thailand beaten, don't forget, in friendlies against Egypt. 8-2 and 7-2 back in August. This game has followed a similar pattern. The only difference being that here, Thailand haven't taken their chances. Ihab Said. Yusuf Mohammed. Clever work here by Thailand. And a good recovery by Youssef Mohamed. Determined play by Youssef Mohamed, who having lost possession was back quickly there to deny Pekam. More 
punched upfield towards Mohamed Abdelhamid. Mohamed Abdelhamid, and now there's a chance for Abdullah. But Norshan came out and smothered the ball. It's really end to end turn now. Thailand have the corner. Only eight seconds remain. One last chance for a consolation for the team from Asia. Clock is ticking down. Four and a half seconds remain. That's it. An impressive performance by Egypt. They're off the mark in these futsal championships. A great evening for them, a great evening particularly for Saeed Abdel Qadir, who scored three of the goals. A convincing win in the end for Egypt. Disappointment for Thailand, who are newcomers to this level of the game. They will be able to regroup and reassess before they play their final fixture. But here it's finished. Thailand nil, Egypt seven.